Every minute, 300 hours of video content is being uploaded on YouTube. In 30 days, more video content is transmitted online than the national TV broadcasters have delivered over the last 30 years. How does this challenge media and broadcast production while ensuring that your content is always standing out? My name is Anna, and in this new episode of Panasonic Live Series, we will be covering industry trends and readily available solutions that can be used to support changes found within the live production. Thank you, Anna. My name is Jauma, and I am happy to welcome you to Custom Project Studio here in my hometown of Barcelona, where the sun always shines. Over the past few months, we've experienced how important video contents are as a medium for information, communication, and entertainment. In this episode, we will analyze how to create high-quality, engaging video content using latest technologies to be efficient and more creative than ever. And the three trends we will be looking at today are transition to IP, live streaming, and adoption of augmented and virtual reality. Let's start with the transition to IP. Many broadcasters have allowed its operators to work from home or remotely. In doing so, moving away from on-premise video production to a more decentralized model. This has been made possible thanks to adoption of IP technology, which helps to create safe, efficient and flexible environments for work and collaboration. Joma, what kind of technology supports live IP production? The introduction of numerous IP-based protocols has led to the implementation of efficient workflows where cameras, robotic systems and live switchers are connected on the network. First, Panasonic supports ST2110 standard in the high-end systems, aiming broadcast applications and ensuring interoperability with a number of manufacturers. Another driver to support production team has been the adoption of NDI, which enables control from a single operator at the click of a button, who in turn can be located remotely thanks to its IP-based control. NDI is open source, which means that it offers high compatibility with lots of hardware and software devices from a host of other manufacturers. Additionally, we have recently expanded a number of supported IP protocols with the adoption of SRT, which creates safe and secure environments, especially when you work remotely. Our brand new UE100 PTZ camera supports SRT for live video transmission, bringing the best quality over the most unstable networks. And do you know what? SRT and the UE100 is helping me to keep social distance from you. Mm -hmm. Come close. See? Ah, I see. We are having a network distance. But I prefer social distance, so come back here and we go through the next topic. Live streaming. Moving forward, live stream content is now being watched more than on-demand video, as it goes beyond time zone and continents, expanding its audience reach in the process. With the constraints faced by production crews in 2020, it becomes more important than ever to maintain high production values of live stream. Joma, what kind of challenges are to overcome here? Live content is an important aspect of storytelling, which means that picture quality is vitally important. Different perspectives can be maintained with multi-camera shooting and, of course, good lighting and audio levels, the same as you would expect for any production suitable for live broadcast. Another way to increase production values during a live stream is by adding camera movements to create beauty shots for more engaging and dynamic content. With the recent development of robotic arms, motorized dollies and telescopic columns, now it's possible to equip your production with robotic systems that are fully integrated with our PTZ cameras, providing a high degree of automation. Professional equipment with built-in live streaming functions face a greater demand now more than ever, as they can be used to support virtual events, live streaming and webinars, for example. Depending on the event scale, you can start with fast and easy configuration of Panasonic PTZ camera or camcorder that, thanks to RTMPS support, enable direct streaming to platforms such as YouTube Live, Facebook Live and Twitch. Some of the common constraints in multi-camera operation is the mix of several formats. The UHS 500 is format independent, allowing you to mix any kind of HD and 4K sources with minimum delay. The UHS 500 switcher sits at the heart of any live production thanks to its ability to control video and camera movements, and at the same time being compact enough to be moved around, quick to set up, 
and easy to operate. And just to prove the quality of this switcher, the program you are watching right now has been captured on the UHS 500. So, what more can I say? Last but not least, the use of virtual reality and augmented reality can enhance video content, making it interactive and capturing the imagination of its audience. Nowadays, technology advancements have made AR and VR more accessible, and we are within Panasonic continue to contribute to the trends growth on the market. The UE150 became the first PTZ on the market to support 3D protocol, allowing this camera to be used with all the main AR and VR vendors as an off-the-shelf solution for virtual systems like the one we are currently located in. We are pleased to say that the 3D protocol has also been supported by the new UE100 PTZ camera out of the box, providing the perfect big camera option for the UE150 when using virtual systems. The use of virtual reality can help presenters close social distancing gaps that we are currently have to work with, or better yet, invite guests into the program even so they are not located into the studio. To talk about VR, live from Valencia we are joined by Thierry Gonzalo, product manager at Brainstorm Multimedia. Hi Thierry, how does the virtual reality enhance the broadcast experience? Hi Jeremy, thank you, thank you for having me here. Uh, today, the, the events industry and as a result, productions are pushed to move away from physical events to go virtual, to go live and stream. And it's not just because of the pandemic. Virtual reality has come of age. It's no longer a drawing in the background. What is the collaboration between Brainstorm and Panasonic? Yes, the integration we have with Panasonic is unique. We're not just receiving the PTZ head tracking data into our system. We are able to control from within this panel the RP150 virtual cameras. We can take with this panel virtual cameras anywhere in 3D space. What are the next steps in this collaboration? Uh, Brainstorm is Kairos Alliance partner as well. And we're working to have the same level of integration that in the RP150 controller in Kairos IT platforms and other switches. What's trending now and is most demanded by the industry? On one hand, photorealism. Everybody wants Unreal Engine, PBR materials, ray tracing and HDR, PBR, everything. And on the other, they want to work remotely, a single point of control and remote cameras everywhere. Just, just like here. I mean, I'm, I'm, my camera could be, I could be anywhere while keeping the control uh, centralized in the station. I could be controlling from this panel, your UE150, and your image could be streamed into our system and you could be, why not, here, next to me. Thank you for your time, Thierry. Thank you. Talk soon. Bye-bye. As we are approaching the end of the program, I would like to say, go IP, put quality into your live streaming, and power the imagination with VR. Now, it's time to take a look behind the scenes of our studio today and see how the show has been produced. Let me take you now for a studio tour and show you how this program has been produced and what equipment we have been using for that. And let me start with the cameras and robotic systems that we have been using to shoot the program. Behind me, you can see a tuning floor dolly system consisting of a floor dolly and a column on it. This column we named Totem and on top we have a Panasonic PTZ camera. The good thing of that system is that it's fully integrated between the PTZ camera and the additional axis of the dolly and the column. It means that the horizontal and vertical movement are fully synchronized with the pan, tilt, zoom, focus of the camera. This system is ideal for extended reality studios like this one because as you can see it does not take a lot of space and also it can be quickly calibrated and easily operated. Beyond that, the system can also be used in live events and the same configuration can be placed, for example, on the front stage of a music concert and not interfere with the action on the stage and the audience behind. For permanent installations, the same configuration can be installed on the ceiling, optimizing the space below. 
As you can see, we are using a couple of UE-150s. The one on the dolly provides the beauty shots of both presenters and it provides a more immersive experience on the virtual graphics. The one on the tripod gives the close-ups on each presenter. We are using UE-150s thanks to the 3D support so that the camera provides pan, tilt, zoom, focus information in real time. And that information is what we need in the graphics engine to render the output to the studio. Join me now in the control area where we have the control of the robotic systems in the studio. In this PC we have the tuning software. Here we create the movements for the camera on the dolly. In the editing mode we can change the duration of that movement or we can put the movement in loop so that the dolly is moving constantly left and right. It's the software that communicates with the graphic systems to deliver the tracking data position that we need to render the system. The movements can be recalled either from the software itself or from the Panasonic RP150 controller thanks to the last update that we have recently released. On this upgrade there is another major improvement which allows the RP150 to control an external graphic system for example Infinity from Brainstorm Multimedia. Let's watch this video from Thierry Gonzalo to see how it works. Let me show you this is the output from the camera and this is my render. Okay, I'm going to move my tracking device right now. Okay, so I'm going to open the shot. Okay, that would be my shot and this would be pan and tilt. We can see that I'm, that I'm integrated within the set and this is the kind of shots you can get in here. I can recall presets obviously and this is regular stuff. But what if we can control the virtual camera instead. What if, like in this case, I'm in a fixed position, I don't really need to move the tracking data as long as I have an isolated green space around me. So let's move and let's do the exact same thing. What if I take now the zoom back? Now I'm moving my virtual camera. Now I'm panning and tilting my virtual camera in here. We can fly anywhere we want. We can go literally anywhere in here. Okay, and still have control of the camera. I can still pan, tilt, or HBR, rotate around, or anything I want in the system. Combining both of them, the real tracking data with the virtual cameras, we can have shots like this one. A very wide angle shot with the right perspective. And this is the UHS 500 switcher, the one we have been using to produce the show. As you can see, this is an all-in-one console that has everything you need to run the show. From here, you can control not only the video signals, but also the PTZs. You can trigger the presets or you can use the joystick to move the cameras. For this program, we are receiving two main signals coming from the media servers. And in order to know more about that, let's talk to Xavi Borras, audiovisual engineer from Blackfish Company. We were looking for camera tracking systems to implement XR workflow in our studios and we found that Panasonic UE150 and tuning system can send the tracking data position using 3D protocol. It's very useful because it's a built-in function so we don't need anything else. To blend physical and virtual world we need a system that brings together the content, video signal, tracking data and LED screens. In this case, we are using this guy's media server to do it. Camera UE 150 and tuning system send video signal and tracking data position to these guys. Finally, we send the result of the two cameras that we are using in this studio to video switcher UE Jazz 500. I've moved to the small studio where we have a UE100 PTZ camera and a small chroma set and we have been using this configuration to demonstrate teleportation into our program today. To do that we have connected the camera using SRT 
which is a new protocol recently adopted by Panasonic, being the UE100, the first camera to support it. With SRT, we can connect the camera using the standard networks with no compromise on the quality. What we are doing here, we could do it from anywhere in the world. It could be another building, it could be another studio, it could be from home, or it could be a different country. Here I am with Jaume Aviols, co-founder of ZNO Audiovisual Services, a rental company based in Barcelona who is providing the video equipment in this studio. How did the idea come along for the XR studio creation? Well, during the lockdown, we were in touch with all the companies who usually work together in big shows and live events, searching the way to keep on creating video contents under this new situation. And that's why we decided to join forces to build the studio. We wanted to take it a step further and create extended reality environment using the latest technology like LED walls and media servers. There are some tracking systems available on the market, but they are quite expensive and difficult to install and calibrate. With this cost-effective system, combining Panasonic PTZ cameras and tuning robotic system, now it's easier to install and calibrate the system. Then, we can control and change the virtual environment in real time. Comparing to green set studios, the reflections are more real, and interaction between the presenters and the screen is better and easier. We are happy with the quality and the performance we have achieved in the studio. What customers most like of this place is the spectacularity and the flexibility, and all the things you can do without moving away from Barcelona. Thanks, Jaume. Thank you for your time. I hope you have enjoyed the tour on our studio today. Thanks for watching. Stay well and see you soon.